Hey everyone, my name is Victor Wu. I'm a product manager here at GitLab. Today we're going to be talking about Service Desk, a feature, a really awesome feature uh, that we released in 9.1. And what Service Desk allows uh, you to do is it enables your customers to reach you directly uh, inside GitLab. Your customers don't need to know about GitLab. All they need uh, is a uh, support email address. They can send you feature requests, bug reports, and so forth and those uh, issues will appear directly inside your GitLab project. So that's what's very powerful about it. And so the, what you see on the screen here is the documentation for Service Desk. Um, you can quickly find it um, in our documentation. So I want to do a quick demo uh, for you today. Um, but off the top, um, this is what an issue will look like in GitLab Service Desk, and what you probably notice is there's it's not a special issue at all. It's just a regular old issue. It's actually a confidential issue. So what we did to build a GitLab Service Desk, we didn't reinvent the wheel. We're just leveraging existing GitLab pieces. And the benefit is that your GitLab users um, are able to uh, use Service Desk very easily because there's nothing new to learn. <clears throat> So as you see here, the, the external person emailed in uh, um, a support request saying that their app crashed. Um, and then the support people, um, so Victor Wu was a, the support person, they responded. Uh, he responded and then the, the external customer responded back and then they had a, a exchange and eventually the uh, issue was closed. So let's start all the way at the top. Uh, so imagine you have a, a project inside GitLab and let's call it for sake of argument, let's call it Acme Lawn Care Android. Imagine it's an Android app for your awesome lawn care service where people can book appointments and, and people come and can cut your grass or do gardening for you. Uh, so you have this project already here. And to enable service tests, all you need to do is go to settings uh, for the project and scroll down a little bit to find service tests. <clears throat> and you see service desk here, click activate service desk and just by clicking that, um, service desk is activated. Of course, you have to save the settings, uh, which we'll do right away, so that, that does save it. Um, but what's important is this email address. So this email address that says, you know, Acme Lawn Care Android at gilab.com, that is the magic um, external support email address. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this email address and now pretend I am external user. So imagine I am using Acme Lawn Care uh, I'm on an Android phone and I come across an error and I want to submit a bug report. So what I'm going to do here is submit that bug report. So imagine I'm in my uh, email application and I'm going to submit a bug report uh, to this project. So this uh, email address was likely shared with me uh, maybe in the app itself or maybe through some other channel. So um, what I'm going to say is that I um, was not able to log in. Please help. And um, I'm also going to attach a screenshot. So what I'm going to do is attach this error screenshot I got on my Android phone. Um, and boom, I have that screenshot there. I'm going to type a couple of lines and say, um, I wasn't able to log in. Things were working. Oops, not walking. Uh, working. Fine. Uh, last week, uh, this just happened. Uh, can you please help? So, you know, a very typical support request um, from your users. I'm going to fire off send, and that sends a message. So what happens is that on the project side, so back inside our um, Acme Lawn Care Android, I'm going to click on Issues, and I'm going to wait a second, click on Issues again. It takes a second for the issue to come in. Um, and on that third refresh, you see that Service Desk sent that um, uh, issue to me. So what happened is that that email came in and automatically turned it into an issue. Uh, what's interesting, you see that the, uh, the image was already sent. Um, service test tells me that it's from uh, this person, Victor at gitlab.com. Uh, he was not able to log in. Please help. Um, and you see the message, you see the screenshot. So now um, I am the support person. So as a support person, I'm going to say um, uh, thank you for the uh, support uh, request. Um, uh, can you please let me know what version of Android you are running or, or maybe, and what phone are you using? Uh, uh, when exactly 
did this happen? So again, you know, more troubleshooting steps, very typical. So I'm gonna go ahead and click comment. And what's very interesting is now I am the original um, external customer or user. And in my email address, I see right away that, um, first of all, that um, GitLab told me that, you know, thank you for a support request. So this email was sent right away when I sent in the original email. And what's interesting is in that same thread, um, the external uh, or, or the, the project sent an email back to me. It says, thank you for your support request, blah, blah, blah. And this is exactly this message here, as you see. So, you know, I'm going to respond back here. I'm simply going to say, um, I am running the newest version of Android. I don't know what it is, um, but I know this is a new phone that I just got from, you know, AT and T. The sales rep helped me transfer all my settings and apps. So we're going to find out that's actually what caused the problem. So I'm going to hit send here and I'm going to go back to the issue and it's going to take a while to, to um, refresh, but I want to show you another awesome feature. Well, what, these are technically not new features, but you can um, already see what we can do with service desk. That's very, um, you know, it's already built into GitLab. Um, so we already saw the comment, but I'm just going to click away for a second here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new label. So I already have all these labels. I have the support label that I created previously, but I'm going to create a new label called, um, you know, service desk, um, service desk tickets. Uh, so issues that were generated by service desk. I'm going to choose a nice color. I'm going to click create label. So when I go back to the service desk issue, oops, where did I go? I'm right here. Um, wrong screen. Um, go back to the issue here. I'm going to add that label here. I'm going to call that the service desk tickets label. I'm also going to have the support label. So support uh, this label in this particular example project can come from a variety of places, but it's going to come from service desk tickets um, and other channels. Um, and so now we're back to the message. It says, um, you know, this the message I just typed in email now appears in the issue. And I'm going to say, oh, this is um, a known issue that happens when you uh, switch phones. Uh, please refer to this link. Something like this. Um, and then uh, let me know if that works. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to click comment, and then that should appear in the email um, really soon. Again, that was really quick. And then suppose um, the external customer says, oh, yep, that, that works perfect. So that, oops, sorry about that. And so, oops, so that works perfect. Thank you for the fix. Um, nothing, uh, no further help required. Thank you. We hit send. Oh, something's wrong with my email kind. I apologize, so I'm gonna try that again. Um, thank you. It works now. I'm gonna hit send and go back to here. And then what I'm gonna do again, wait, wait for that message to show up um, in a couple of seconds later. But again, uh, when you click on issues, you can see that now it has the label. So imagine you're a support team and then you're in this project and you wanted to find all the service desk tickets. Now you can easily do that by clicking on uh, and filter by those tickets or maybe the support ticket. So you can imagine a lot of support related workflows just working out of the box with GitLab because we built everything inside GitLab. Also notice that the issue is a confidential issue. Um, we designed it that way so that uh, not all users, uh, public users can see the issue. Only uh, members that have access to confidential issues can see it. So let's go back and wrap up the support ticket. So thank you, it works now. And then I'm gonna say, that's great. Uh, I'm going to close out this issue, uh, close out this ticket, let's call it. Uh, 
feel free to open a new one if there is any more problems. Something really simple like this, I'm going to click comment and close issue. And just by doing that, I now I know the issue is closed, so the support person doesn't have to go back to it. Um, say, for example, if this was an ongoing bug and I wanted to log this ticket as a bug so that my developers and my engineering team um, can, can do so, I can easily add a label called bug um, and then I can start uh, uh, have my engineers look for all the bugs and service desk tickets. So you can see with the power of uh, GitLab labels, uh, we've just um, invented a, uh, an awesome support flow right inside GitLab with Service Desk. So again, finally, I'm going to go back to my email client and says, um, you know, feel free to open it if a new one happens. And so that, that works perfectly. So that wraps it up for Service Desk. It's a really awesome new feature. It's uh, really simple to use as you've just seen. Um, you don't need to learn any new things about GitLab. Everything just works. Um, a reminder, all you needed to do was to go to the project settings and activate Service Desk and then that provides you the email address, support email address right there. And GitLab does everything else behind the scenes. Um, so we hope you try it out. Uh, thank you.